Gary Small prepares to take over as CEO of Premier Bank. The SBA answers questions about relief funding for venues, and one man's dream of owning a rare coin business comes true. This is The Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. On March 31st, Gary Small will take over as CEO of Premier Bank, the final step in the merger between Home Savings Bank and First Federal Bank of the Midwest. Since the two banks joined, Small has served as president and Don Heilman has been CEO. When Small steps into the position, he will be the sole executive at the bank. Small says one asset they've been looking at on the home savings side is the former bank's mortgage portfolio and how to expand it into western Ohio, Indiana, and southern Michigan. The final step in the merger will see the bank capping off an especially busy year, completing a merger, a rebranding, transitioning to staff working from home, and implementing PPP loans. You can read more on the transition in Josh Medor's story at businessjournaldaily.com. Businesses looking to apply for Shuttered Venue Operators Grants can get some additional information on the program before the grant pool opens. The SBA released a new Frequently Asked Questions outlining who is available and how much money they can receive. The SBA has said it will set aside $2 billion from the $15 billion grant pool for venues with up to 50 employees. Application periods will be based on how much revenue a venue lost between April and December. A handful of art venues in the Mahoning Valley are getting $1.3 million to help pay for projects. The funds come from the state capital appropriations budget, which can use funds for projects of regional importance. Some of the venues receiving funding are the Butler Institute of American Art to upgrade its environmental control system, the OWAL Science Center for its $4 million renovation, and Stambaugh Auditorium to replace the building's staircase. A lifelong passion for collecting coins came to fruition Monday when Matt LaPosa opened Elite Rare Coins in Champion. LaPosa says he's been collecting coins since he was eight years old. Recently, he's been traveling to coin shows and doing business online. He says the store will allow him to access the segment of the market that likes to do business in person. First Energy reached a settlement with the state of Ohio that Attorney General Dave Yost says will save taxpayers nearly $2 billion. The settlement ended a provision in House Bill 6, the $150 million bailout of First Energy's nuclear power plants that allowed First Energy to adjust rates to ensure it earned at least $978 million per year. Of the settlement, Yost said, quote, this agreement recognizes the corrupt influence used to guarantee a for-profit company above market returns for years to come by operation of law. And don't forget to check out our Growth Report 2021, now available online at businessjournaldaily.com. The nearly 300 stories of growth and perseverance submitted by Valley businesses and organizations are sorted by category in our e-edition preview. For example, if you're interested in economic development, you can see we've got six stories under that vertical, including Valley Partners intensifies funding efforts for small businesses, Team Neo collaboration is vital to build the economy, and Cleveland Job Corps extends program to Mahoning County. Again, you can read the entire Growth Report 2021 by clicking the e-edition at businessjournaldaily.com. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Well, not only is the teleprompter not working, the printer's not working. So I am reading the buzz off of my phone today, Steve. Okay. The SBA prepares so nope. I'm just gonna go on the air coin business comes true. 717 Credit Union. Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com.